Kendall Jenner calls me daddy. And here's my proof. So for the last two years, this isn't true. But for the nine years before that, every Christmas and New Year's Eve, we would set up our Ferris wheel in Calabasas and Bruce Jenner and eventually Caitlyn Jenner's backyard. So kids weren't allowed on screen. And because the kids weren't allowed on screen, nobody really wanted to talk to them. I basically entertained the children. And, uh, well, things happened. And um, there's non-disclosure agreements, and of course nobody will ever talk about it, but things happened. And, uh, you know, one thing led to another, and one day I'm sitting there, <laughs> Bruce goes, Steward, how come my daughter's calling you daddy? And I go, well, well Bruce, it's because she's never had one before. It's about the same time Stewie was talking about, no, Brian, you're wrong. She's a beautiful, beautiful woman. <laughs> So my book was published uh, on four four fifteen, a blood moon. That that photo of the blood moon was taken that night. Or early that morning, whenever the uh, appropriate film was captured, uh, frame. Whenever the appropriate frame was captured, so you can see right there the date and then if you google getting a rise out of kendall jenner you get a rise out of kendall jenner the following day after touchy goes to hollywood was published You hear those dogs barking? Anyways, hold the red rose like a clown nose for daddy. That ass though. That ass though. That ass though. <sighs> yeah, back in Touchy's youth. Mmm, and it smells like sweet vermouth. <laughs> Well, it'll make you pucker your tongue at least. I... <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, of course, on the back, you can see good old Uncle Touchy. Good old Uncle Touchy. So, there you go. <laughs> It's a matter of history. <laughs>